Zeke here and today welcome back to part 6 I believe of the crew walkthrough and we're going to be doing something pretty damn special to start off with I've got 73,841 crew credits and I can afford the 1967 Shelby GT500 aka Eleanor so that is what we're going to be doing we're going to be buying this thing right now and we're going to be taking it to the street spec tuner oh yes because i have been dying to get a classic car in this game because it's one of them one of them games which would be really really interesting to see what they would look like in classic form so this only has street and uh, street and performance spec tuners whatever you want to call it. i think that's what you i think that's what they're called keep forgetting but anyway um yeah, I'm not going to put the podcast out today guys, I'm going to put it out on Friday because I asked on Facebook about an hour ago, what do you want to see? Do you want to see two more episodes of the crew go out today or do you want to see the podcast? And basically everyone bombarded saying two more episodes of the crew. So I'll see what I can do guys, if I can manage to get two episodes out I will, but if I don't then I'm sorry, <laughs> the other one will be coming tomorrow then. But anyway, level 10, let's do that, we're going to be playing... We do 6,000 bucks for it? Yeah, we'll pay that. Oh, get ready to see what this thing looks like. Hope we don't muck it up. Okay. <laughs> that kind of looks like a freaking Mustang Boss Theo 2, so I'm not a fan of the front bumper. I'm really not a fan of the bump bumper. We're going to have to change that right now. Uh, but in this mission, not in this mission, in this episode of the walkthrough, guys, we're going to be doing some more of the missions. That's what I was trying to say. And... We're going to be doing, yeah, that's essentially what it's going to be. It's just going to be missions. Look at them lights, man. Holy crap. Right, Eleanor colours, that's what we're looking for. It's kind of like, it kind of looks like that. I would say Eleanor is a wee bit darker grey. You know what I mean? So, hmm, I don't know how this would come over on Elgato. Uh, I like that. I kind of like that. That is meant to be the colour-ish. Not too sure. We'll go for it. We'll go for it. We'll go for that. Anyway, stickers, where's the stripes? Where the stripes at though? Where's the stripes? But yeah, thanks for all the support recently on these videos, guys. It really does mean a lot to me. Really, really does. Oh my god. Is that the length? I think it's straight about them size of stripes that Eleanor has. We're gonna go for it anyway. Four thousand bucks now, we're gonna pay that by crew credits. We're not playing four thousand for a freaking stripe. Interior. Now I've not showed you this yet. You can actually like change the colour of the trim around the seats. You can actually change the colour of the seats as well. Uh, I don't know what this thing would be. Ooh, that blue, I'm not really a fan of that. Oh my god, that red. I don't really know what would go with this. I think a white, actually. A white would really, really suit this. We're going to go for that. Front bumper, we're definitely changing this. Not a fan of it. <laughs> what the hell is that? It's got a moustache. Look at it, it's got a moustache. What the hell? Anyway. Uh, keep your eyes out guys for like an Eleanor style bumper. Oh my god, that is quite similar to it. That actually looks bang on. I don't know, but we'll flip through the rest of them. And see. Oh, I think that's it. Is that it? I don't know if it's me or that kind of looks like it. I think we're going to go for this one over here. Two seconds. Where is it again? This one, because the spoiler is a bit too big on the other one. So anyway, rear bumper. Whoa, look at them lights. Holy moly. That is, <laughs> that is so cool. That is so damn cool. Jesus. Anyway, let's see if we can actually get some, like, side exhaust and stuff on this thing. Here we go in. I like the first one. I really, really like the first one best. Look at that, man. Look at that. It's going to be a modern Eleanor. Oh, yes. Front bumpers. I don't know why they're not actually giving us the front and rear fenders yet. So, there's nothing on the side, Scots. The rims. We're going to be changing that. Yes, we are. See, is there any official rims? Oh, exotic rims. God almighty. Well, it's Eleanor, isn't it? So, we may as well give her the best. We <laughs> Is that? Jeez Louise! My god! Anyway, roads. Maybe the racing ones. I'm not too sure what the racing ones would look like on this. 
Ooh, ho, ho, ho. I can't really remember the, the actual rims that Eleanor had, so forgive me if I get the rims wrong, guys. <laughs> oh, we're having them, guys. They just look absolute badass. Jeez, Louise, we're having that. Not playing 10 grand. We're going to go for the crew credits on that one. Look at that. I mean, yeah, again, I'm still a wee bit disappointed we can't change the size of the rims, but... God damn. Whoa. Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ, that is not happening. That is not happening. So we've got a little bit of a lip spoiler, guys. I know it's a little addition to Eleanor, but that is quite nice indeed. Hmm, that one looks very, very good indeed. Carbon hood? No, we're not going to go for a carbon hood. Quite like the look of that one there. It's, I'm so glad I bought this now. I really, really am. I was actually going to buy the 4 GT, but I'm really, really glad I chose this car because... It's an old classic Mustang, seriously. It's really, really good. So we're going to be bumping up the performance a little bit right now, guys. And we'll see you out on the road in this thing in a second. Hey, man. Screw all this making money bit by bit crap. We need to score bigger if we want to pay the bosses back in time. I assume you got something in mind. Would I be calling if I didn't? Would I be calling if I didn't? My God, so anyway, we've jumped straight into a mission, guys, this, with that Eleanor. That bag's full of cash. Might as well have dirty money written all over it in Dayglo. Mm. Yep, big problem around these streets. Too much money syndrome. <laughs> Go offer them our banking services. Oh, it just looks so heroic already. <laughs> I mean, I have to say, this is probably my new favourite car that I've got already. I mean, it just looks unbelievably gorgeous. My god, tell me in the comments, what do you think of a have I done Eleanor proud or have I just ruined it? I personally think it looks very, very nice. You're losing him! Don't know I like the spoiler. I actually quite like the spoiler. It's just the right height, it's not too high or anything like that. So I know there's gonna be some purists out there saying, Oh, it's not exactly like Eleanor, but yeah, <laughs> there's no option for me to take off the spoiler in the streets deck, so I'm sorry about that, but I actually quite like it. Anyway, I've fitted it with the most performance parts that I can. I'm nearly out of money, so yeah, she took all my money. <laughs> she gave me money. <laughs> She's a gold Oh, there she is. Come on. That's it. Oh, I hate that I have to do this. Oh, God. Where the hell is he going? Handbrake, handbrake, handbrake. Come on, little Eleanor. Oh, yes. Because that's the thing. I'm definitely going to be calling this thing Eleanor, because why the hell not? Why the hell not? Oh yes, because <laughs> I actually want to go back and watch Gone in 60 Seconds now. I think it's on Netflix, I might watch it later tonight. So, yeah, I forgot to say we're over in Washington now, guys. And we are picking up where we left off last time in the missions. Where we have to like, do some missions for a guy named Shu, I believe he is. So, we need to get some money back, which he took. So, yeah. God, that camera was quite quick. I think kind of reminds me of like, the Hot Wheels edition of the Camaro, like the new version. Oh, oh you sneaky little bugger. <laughs> Jeez Louise, anyway, we've got to some cockpit view right now. Nearly ran over them people. I am so sorry. Eleanor would have blood all over her face. Come on. Now, that's the thing. People have been asking me oh, why can't you run people over in the game and why do they have like lightning reactions. The car manufacturers wouldn't allow it. Let's just say that. They will not allow it. Oh my god. Now the handling, in terms of Eleanor, yeah, is pretty damn good for an old classic muscle You're car. You're blowing this! You're blowing this, man! Oh, Jesus. Play too nice. How am I playing too nice? I'm trying to hit him. God, I'm like... Jesus. I mean, I hate the people in this game where even if you lose first place just for a millisecond, they just rage at you. They're Finish like, him. you better not be giving me false hope, man, or anything like that, so. <laughs> and that's what you call a takedown. Oh, yes. That cop was like, what the hell's going on here? <laughs> oh, God, them rims, though. Them rims just suit it down to a T. We level up again. I'm not going to sing the song. <laughs> Someone said that on Twitter. What song is that that I always sing when we level up? Uh, it's actually called Level Up by Sway. So I'll leave a link in the description just in case you guys haven't heard it. There's some nice Lamborghinis and everything in it. Because basically the premise of the video is about a guy 
he's won the lottery and how he just like spends all his money is brilliant. <laughs> it's really, really good. One of them feel good videos as well. Still can't go over that Hummer. <laughs> Get him. Yeah, I got him. Good, I'll Whoa. pick up the stuff. Now get back to work! Alright, calm down, man. Jesus! He done that in the last mission as well. It was like... I presume it was an I, a 5-10 that took it. What the hell did you just say to me? That's exactly what he's like, so... Anyway, we'll abort some missions right now and we'll try a little bit of... Precision driving, which isn't going to go well. Because there's tons of traffic on this highway. Now, I've still got to record the actual footage for... The um, Up to Speed podcast because it is a pretty damn long episode. So I encourage you guys watching it if you've got the time to the very end because that is when the most interesting things happen. Now, I'm a little quiet at first in it because I'm obviously brand new to the podcast game, but about 20 minutes in and that, I start getting a lot more chattier. Because <laughs> that's the thing, I know a few of you will be like, EK is not even chatty. Are you serious? Right, God, come on. <laughs> Ah, oh, we nearly got a gold. God damn. Anyway, I'll go back and do that one later. Suspension part one. Please tell me we can fit it to this thing. Here we go. Bloody hell, bumps it up quite a lot. God, Eleanor's riding on some new suspension. She's going to be nice and comfy. Oh, yes. Let's see how many bucks are we getting. 228 bucks. Not bad at all. So, yeah. We shall see you guys at the next mission. Here we are, guys. It's the next mission, and it is the first gut mission that I'm going to be doing. Ride. So we're racing Omar, I believe. Just me and him, and I'm in my 370. No, there's going to be more people. A Mini and a Raptor. No, a Silverado, actually. Holy crap. That thing is modded out as hell. Now, I've still not got my Dodge Ram yet, which is kind of weird, because um, I unlocked that with the unlockables before money. the game actually came out, so... I've been on the website and everything, I've entered the code on the PSN, but it's still out here. So, I'll check it out later tonight, see what's happening now. This is the only car that I've actually fitted with a massive wing. So, well, kind of like a massive wing, if you know what I mean, so. Oh god. Benny, what are you doing, mate? Jesus. Anyway, as I was saying, yes, yeah, the first dirt race that I've done in the game, uh, apart from the one in Chicago. It's not really classed as a dirt race, that one. This is like proper dirt spec cars for the first time, so it's a little bit different, and thank God, because I was, I'm not saying I was getting tired of the street races and that, because the crew is all about exploration, going off-road, seeing what you can find as well, so it's not just about city racing, which is really, really good, so. Oh my. Now, this is the 370. Now, for people who follow me from the last beta and all the other betas, You'll see I've made it the exact same design as I had in the beta now. The, I made this design on the street spec, but I think it suits the dirt spec in the game a lot more. So I'm keeping the street spec nice and blue as normal. So might be changing it up a little bit, I might be adding like, some more stickers to it and everything. Because I will eventually be customising all my cars, getting them to the highest spec and stuff, because the thing that I'm glad with is that no matter what car you actually do all the skill challenges in, you can unlock them parts for every single car, which is great. Um, but the bad thing is you need to buy the parts so uh, when you unlock them. So If you get what I mean, if that makes any sense to you, I don't really know, but you know what I mean. You unlock the parts and then they go to the HQ for your other cars, but the other cars, you need to buy them parts. Yes, that is the thing I'm trying to say. So anyway, this is a dirt race and I want to do some of it in cockpit view. I've received a game alert for Drive Club. Don't really care right now, I'm playing the crew. <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah, because Drive Club's good, right? It's really, really good, but it's nowhere near as good as this. For like, in, in terms of like, fun. But I would have to say for concentration wise, Drive Club is probably one of the, the best games for that. You need to be concentrating 100% when you play that game. Because one little miscalculation and you are going to be getting flung off that track you really really will be so um because i was driving what was it i was driving a few weeks ago i think it was the remember. no it was one of the recent dlc cars it was the renault desire concept that electric thing and it only has been about 150 horsepower right guys we will drive i think it's quite light though and um it basically tried to kill me Every time you let off the accelerator on that thing, it just tries to spin you out, so... 
It's a little bit of a menace, even though it's a little French wee wee electric car, so... Anyway, hopefully we get some good upgrades for that. We'll level up again, holy crap, we are doing good, man. We are doing really good, let that be gold. Silver, hmm, okay, could have done a wee bit better. I'll come back and do that one. That was one of the fun missions in the game. Because I can tell you something, if most of the dirt races are going to be like that, then this is going to be a hell of a lot of fun. It really reminds me of, like, fuel mixed with Colin McRae dirt, as I said in the last episode, so... It's really, really good, because, as I also said in the previous one, you All can relate right, any game to this, and it will be there. You're going to bet against me? I said I changed my mind! Ha! <laughs> Oh, look at what's Eleanor? Need to make, need to contribute to the Keep Eric Sue from getting killed Foundation. We're a non-profit, you know. Tax exempt status, baby. Oh, where did Eleanor go? <laughs> Holy crap! Uh, but anyway, uh, I don't know. God, see, we got quite a lot of missions to do. Where's one? There's one up here. There is one down here. So I think that's it. So we'll see you one of the next ones, guys. Like I said. He isn't at the garage. And like I said, I've known Harry my whole life. He was like a father to me. He's on our side. Then he has no reason to lie. Your data connection's glitchy. Try avoiding any big bumps or you might lose GPS data I'm pushing to you. Get to Harry before he leaves. Okay guys, so we've actually got to go and find Harry because I think Zoe's a wee bit hesitant of him taking sides here. He's either on our sides or maybe he isn't, so we've basically got to get to him Without the time limit, it's going to be a wee bit tricky, so I'm going to stick on the hood cam for this one because it makes me concentrate a hell of a lot more, so as I said guys, if you do enjoy this video then please do leave it a like, it is much appreciated on this channel and it's great to see the support from you guys that you're actually loving these videos because I am loving making them for you because the crew is just an epic epic game and I cannot wait to find out more about it because it is only starting to get a bit interesting, well, not a bit interesting, it's always been interesting but it's getting more and more interesting, that's what I mean, so... Anyway, because we've only just done a few of the new missions, right? Because the first four parts were basically the beta levels all again, but the past two have just been brand new missions, which I've been loving. Oh, that drift, though! That drift! Oh, yes, because the dirt spec is the spec to come for drifting. Oh, my God. Ah, oh, too much Dr. Pepper today. <laughs> Yesterday it was coffee, now it's Dr. Pepper. Don't know why it does that. Because it never makes me burp like, um, or get mumbled up and stuff like that when I'm not recording. But when I am recording, it's just plotting an evil plan, just like that car was. You son of an absolute bitch. Right, anyway, we can just hold the back on track button for that. We could have crossed over the little tree bit there, but I have a funny feeling we'd have hit them. <laughs> so yeah. I don't exactly want to freaking lose all my progress just for that. Here comes the jump! Oh, Jesus! Oh, mate, oh my god! Oh, god, why does it want to kill me today? Oh no! We're in the water! Do you hell this thing is lethal? Alex, you better hurry up before Harry leaves. <laughs> yeah, I'm moving my ass, Zoe, don't you worry. Oh, just made that. <laughs> I know I'm going to be getting a bronze for this one, guys, but fuck it. Come on, come on, 370. Harry's just up ahead. There we go, that's it now. He's just up there, don't crash. Please, I'm begging you. <laughs> it's in the comments, guys. What is your favourite car in the game so far? Uh, mine's is probably Eleanor, the one that I've got. The one that you just seen me driving. I'm going to be using that a hell of a lot. Uh, I might actually be using that to... Uh, what's the word for it? I'm trying to find the freaking word for it. Can we level up again? God, we're just mastering this today, guys. <laughs> There's only 50 levels and all now. Granted, they're going to be taking a lot longer to level up and stuff, but... My God, we're at level 20 already. Jeez Louise, man. Tire parts 1, 240. This thing's bumping up like a master. Jesus. Let's see here. I wonder what's going to happen with Harry. I'm eager to know. I'm eager to know. What sunset, man. Oh. I mean, I kind of got over the landscape in this game. It's so much variety. Oh, God. What's going is... on? Like I said, nothing. He's got a girlfriend. What's happening? You know what? I'm done here. 
<laughs> okay. South's calling. A tuner down in Miami has just put you in its preferred customer list. Oh my Good god. News. They're perf specialists. Perf spec rides are barely road legal. Built for very high speeds and tight handling. Everywhere there's a serious street racing scene, you'll find perf spec rides. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway guys, we're going to be saving this to the next episode. I've been to Miami already, so we can easily just jump there and get some of our cars tuned for for poor fucking porky pig pork. I'm saying maybe 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 we're gonna be going to Miami in the next episode to put some performance spec on our cars. That's it. So anyway, if you've enjoyed this episode with me and Eleanor, then please do leave a like. Much appreciated, guys, and subscribe today for more fresh. Fun content on the crew. So yeah, we'll see you in part seven, guys. It might be coming later tonight or it might be coming tomorrow along with this. You never know. <laughs> if we get a certain amount of likes in this one, I'll try and do it tonight. So yeah, thanks a lot for watching, guys. I will see you in the next one. Peace.